you know um, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space and today we want to examine some of the properties of matter and try to determine what, how matter behaves under certain conditions. Okay, we're going to look at uh, another property of matter here. We're going to look at uh, different states of matter. Uh, you guys may know about liquids and solids and gases. So here we have uh, liquid water as ice in its initial mass here we have 73.683 grams um, those last digits are uh, probably not even significant here uh, because it's, it's so uh, um, such a small difference so we'll do 73.684 grams and what we're going to do is we're going to let the ice uh, the solid water here melt into liquid water or just water and we're going to see uh, if we have a change of mass here so I'm um, going we'll to let it melt and then we'll come back and we'll check it here in just a little bit. Okay, so it's been a couple minutes now and our uh, ice is pretty much uh, all liquid at this point. Um, and so we're going to take the mass again. If we notice, our mass was at uh, 73.68 and now we're up to 73.70. So where did the extra mass come from? If we take a close look at our, uh, our beaker here, you guys can see that there's some condensation on the outside. So I'm going to try wiping that off. A little bit they collected on the balance band. We're going to take the mass again. And uh, we're back to 73.64, 73.68 was where we were. So we're, we're back closer to where we started. So mass pretty much hasn't changed. We've got uh, almost exactly the same mass uh, as before. So we went from a solid to a liquid, but the mass is uh, more or less unchanged. water changing from a solid to a liquid. So over here we started with uh, ice. Over here we started with ice and then at the end we ended up with liquid water. So we'll just do water here. Okay so in our uh, in our experiment we actually started with a beaker. We had a, a little small beaker that had ice cubes in the bottom. So we'll draw a beaker with a few ice cubes. Uh, Solid water has a definite volume and a definite shape, um, so we can draw it there. And each of those ice cubes has some uh, particles in it, some, some mass, if you will, to it. So we'll do them all about the same. And then afterwards, we let the ice melt. And so when you let the ice melt, we notice that the volume uh, appeared to change. It definitely looks different. The form changed because we had a solid and then we had a liquid in here. Um, but the number of particles or the mass did not change because the mass beforehand and the mass after it melted essentially remained the same. So we have six particles of, or nine particles of water here, sorry, nine particles of water over here in, as ice cubes, they were solid, and then it changed to a liquid. We had a, it's called a phase change. But the number of particles should not have changed. We should still have nine particles of water because the mass did not change. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the mass before and the mass after essentially stayed the same. So we had a phase change. We went from a solid to a liquid. Mass remained unchanged.